if you want to go get it. You know, you can't say you want to be this and that and then you don't put in the work. Don't try to be like anybody else, try to be different. You know, just go out there and be you. Me growing up in a small city, Birmingham, Alabama, we don't really get the publicity, you know, like a lot of other, you know, people do from, you know, from bigger cities. And, um, you know, I would just say, you know, it's, like, it's not a lot of people that can do this. You know, it's not a lot of people in my shoes, you know, in my city. So, you know, I'm just trying to be one of, the, you know, one of the few to ever do it. Oh, uh, yeah, I first started playing basketball when I was about five or four years old. and. Uh, you know, I have always seen my brother playing it, following him around AAU trips and stuff. So, you know, when, he, when I grew up, he was playing basketball at Indiana. Three seconds, two seconds. Riddell all the way outside to Watford. Three on the way. Oh! And Wyatt! And Wyatt! You know, I just fell in love with the game, and you know, I just wanted to follow after his footsteps. My first team I played on was a team called Alabama Challenge. Uh, you know, I was an eighth grader playing on a 16U team. So, you know, just coming out there, it was tough at first, and. Um, you know, I, I ended up, you know, I played pretty good my eighth grade year, played 17 U my ninth grade year. And, uh, you know, that's when I, that's when a lot of eyes start opening up and a lot of things start getting bigger for me. And, um, you know, last two years I played for another team, Nike team, Florida and Georgia Stars. So, you know, those two teams, and those are all the two teams, three teams I played for. Uh, coming up, you know, I'll never forget, it was my, my ninth grade year just playing against, you know, it was like, I think the, Maybe the first game on my UIBL circuit on my ninth grade uh, year, playing, I played against you know Michael Porter Jr. He was a great player at that time, so you know I was sort of nervous, you know having to guard him. And I was 14 years old, he was 17, so you know we all we battled and um, you know I ended up playing real good that game. And that's when you know that's when a lot of people kept their eye open for me, and um, you know a lot of things opened up for me there. All uh, my biggest motivators, I would say, you know, is my uh, my brother, my mom, and my dad. You know, I want to, you know, I want them to be able to, you know, live big one day with me, and um, you know, I just want to take care of them one day. Uh, one of the people that I'm real closest with in the NBA is uh, Demarcus Cousins. You know, I would say, you know, him being a big role model to me, slash big brother to me, another big brother to me. Um, you know, I would say that's obviously, you know, it's been tremendous. You know, in my growth, he's, you know, he's seen me play in the summer a lot, so you know, he always motivates me, and you know, tells me to keep working hard, and um, you know, every time he pretty much comes back in the city, um, you know, I pretty much link up with him. Uh, last year, this was our first time coming to this tournament. Um, you know, we came in as a, you know, a lot of people, you know, they really know about us, you know, looked at us as if we were, you know, not too good. So, you know, last year we came out and made a statement and uh, we ended up losing. I think like in a championship, in a loser bracket championship. So this year, you know, we're starting off pretty strong and, um, you know, we got to finish off. We're sort of nationally known now because of last year, like what we did last year. So, you know, obviously we got to, you know, we got to go out and perform and uh, perform at a high level to be some of these nationally ranked teams with a lot of, you know, nationally ranked players. And, um, you know, I'm, when we get back home, you know, I feel like we can, it'll, it'll definitely, you know, make us even better to play in the in-state competition, um, you know, win another state championship. You know, I first started getting recruited in my eighth grade, my eighth grade year. And, um, you know, it slowed, it slowed down a little bit as far as my, like, ninth grade year. I, you know, I wasn't really getting too many offers. And then, you know, as more as I started playing playing on the circuit, I got, a, you know, big time offers. Um, started taking a lot of big time visits. My first big time visit was Kentucky in ninth grade. You know, obviously the recruiting process is long, man. You got a lot of coaches calling you 12 o'clock at night, you know, one o'clock in the morning, just trying to check on you. And, you know, I was trying to get you, so you're a top priority. And, um, you know, that's pretty much it. 
Oh, my personal goals this year, you know, finish up my um, my high school season strong, get this, get another state championship, because I'll be the first, you know, one of the first person to ever do it three times in a row in my state. So, um, you know, that's obviously one of my biggest goals. And um, you know, to always be a McDonald's All American, join brand class and player. You know, that's always been a dream of mine since I was a kid. A uh, normal day, especially in the off season, would be out. I'll probably just get up around eight or nine, work out with my brother. We'll get something to eat, then you know, do another strength and conditioning workout after. Um, you know, obviously, him playing on a professional level, he's been through it all. So you know, workouts with him, you know, it's not easy. So you know, we just put in, both of us put in the same amount of work, and then we just you know go out there and play. Uh, I would say, you know, a lot of no, nah, I don't feel, you know, I feel like a lot of people, you know, they can't really do what I can do. I'm more versatile. Um, I can play inside out, outside in, you know. I can really do a lot of things on both sides of the ball, so you know I feel like you know that's pretty much that sums it up with me being a versatile player. Oh, I would just say you know I mix it up a lot. Um, you know, a year ago you would probably catch me on the perimeter a lot, but this year you know I'm mixing it up, you know, both inside and out. I'm working on a lot of three point, you know, a lot of three point shots, um, a lot of mid range game. You know, and, and you, as you can tell in the NBA these days, you got you know a lot of guys playing. You know, four, a lot of guys playing a three my size. So, you know, Draymond Green, you got a lot of guys like that in the NBA. So, you know, you got to be able to stretch the floor and um, that's how you make a lot of money. Hey man, we in Florida, catching these doves, City of Palm. Got a little off day, so you know, we came out here. Had to enjoy this. These my young boys right here, my 2020 killers. You know the vibe, man. Hey, these my boys right here. Yeah, get the snap. Go ahead. That hurt. Get the snap, bro. Hey, no chance. No chance. Hey, no chance. Hey, what I tell y'all? She running away. Oh for one on the day. Oh for one. Hey, you know, you know, trends next up. Yeah, this is my straight boy. Straight to the lead. Yeah, straight you know. to the lead. I like that. Oh, well, well, you know the vibe. Well, Talk to him, G. Shout out my boy, Trendin, best yeah. player in the nation, right? You know the vibe, yo. Oh, what's wrong with you, bro? Like, what's really, what's really wrong with you? Get out. <laughs> My dream car, uh, I would say it's got to be some type of Lamborghini, some type of Lamborghini. My dream girl probably would be, you know, Beyonce or Megan Good or somebody. If I'm at, if they're at the house right now, I'm cooking them some nice steak. You know, they're going to get some nice steak, macaroni, mashed potatoes, all that. Top five artists. All right, this is easy. Top five artists would be Gunna, NBA Youngboy, Meek Mill, uh, Lil Baby, and I gotta go with, um, I gotta go with probably one of the Migos, Quavo. I like everything, but I'm, you know, I'm, I'm basic type of guy. I really, I like cheeseburgers, pizza, all that. Favorite movie is next Friday. Kobe Bryant, hands down. Kobe Bryant. I would say my seventh grade summer, you know, I worked out. It was my brother, it was during my brother's draft process, so I was working out with him the whole time. And uh, you know, we work out we worked out a lot, like real early in the morning, like six o'clock, seven o'clock early in the morning. And uh, you know, that summer I went and played AAU and then that's when my name started to um, you know, really really get out there. I went to a few camps, John Lucas camp, C B three camp. And um, you know, I would say that's really when, you know, a lot of things started to open up for me and I you know, I realized I could be real good at the game. Oh, uh, you know, coming up, I would say, you know, one of my favorite camps was the John Lucas camp. Because he would bring in a lot of pros, you know, I can't, I think he brought in John Wall maybe a few times, um, Aaron Gore and a few other guys. So, you know, always coming up, you know, you always looked up to those guys because they were, you know, in the NBA. So, you know, just coming up, you always look forward to that. Um, CP3 camp was also another great camp with, with top talent every time I went. You know, I went two years in a row. You know, I enjoyed it both times. Um, a camp nowadays, you know, I went to the Nike Skills Academy camp. And uh, that was my favorite camp. I would probably say that's my top favorite camp because, you know, there's a lot of NBA people there and they, you know, it's the first time they could watch us. So, you know, we obviously had to play pretty good and, um, you know, just being around them, it was all good. It will be my dad, you know, he's influenced me a lot. You know, he gets up early in the morning. He has to go work his job five, four o'clock in the morning. So, you know, I, I got to take care of him. And, um, you know, 
just pay, you know, just pay off what he's been on and, um, you know, some trainers, I, you know, that's been fluid me, Terry Drake. You know, I worked out with him ever since I was in the sixth, fifth grade. And, um, you know, we worked up early in the morning, ran on the track, you know, in the gym. You know, just putting in, you know, countless hours of work, I would say that's got me to this point. Uh, me growing up, you know, there's not a lot of guys, you know, I could look up, look up to. You know, like you had DeMarcus Cousins, Eric Glesso, Rob Grizzard, uh, you had my brother. You know, they were, they were the biggest, you know, biggest names in the city and the state. So, uh, you know, DeMarcus Cousins, Eric Glesso, you know, they're in the NBA right now. So, not, I would say not a lot of guys, you know, are able to, you know, be able to do this as far as where I'm from. And, uh, you know, I'm just trying to be, you know, just one of the few to ever do it. Oh, uh, you know, I try to, you know, I try to tune them out and, um, you know, they influence me just to go harder, you know. A lot of people say, you know, he's too big, he's too slow, he should be playing down low. You know, I don't really listen to it, I just go out there and play my game. My advice would be, you know, not to, not to really worry about, you know, how somebody else looks at you. You know, you can be different. You know, I would just say just go out there and play hard and not really, you know, don't really get, try to get into all the recruiting and all the ranking and stuff. You know, just go out there and be you. If you want to go get it. You know, you, you can't just, you know, you can't say you want to be this and that and then you don't put in the work. So I would say, you know, especially advice to the young people, um, just go put in work. You know, you got to obviously have repetition, you know, rep what you can do. And, uh, you know, don't really try to get it. Don't, don't try to be like anybody else. Try to be different. You know, just be, you know, be yourself pretty much. Just be yourself.